All right, so uh, I'm making this video the same time I'm out doing my other stuff, but uh, this is a separate video. This is gonna be the can you tell what camera this came from challenge. Uh, I'm shooting on a Sony one inch sensor camera right now, this video. I've got my Lumix S5 over my shoulder, my Ricoh GR in my pocket, and I'm taking a picture of that right there, that's turn up rock. And I've set every, all three cameras to the same exposure. F8, ISO 100, 1 1 60th of a second, and I'm shooting in RAW, and I'm gonna process them all the same. And I wanna see if you guys can tell the difference between the three different cameras, especially for landscape. <clears throat> the GR, Ricoh GR is the first GR, it's the APS-C one, so it's a little bit older. Um, this Sony one inch sensor camera is a newer one. And then the Lumix S5 obviously is a new camera full frame uh, with the 20 to 60 kit lens on it because it's actually a great versatile lens for landscape photography. Uh, getting that 20 millimeter wide is great. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll, I'll pause the video here and I'll label ABC and we'll come back. So what do you guys think? What was the difference? Um, you want to know one of the results? A was the Sony one inch sensor, B was the Ricoh GR, and C was the Lumix S5. Just gotta remember to put those in that order when I'm recording this, I haven't done it yet, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. A, Sony, B, Ricoh, C, Lumix. What do you guys think? Can you guys tell the difference? All right, uh, that trip was about a week and a half ago now, and um, I have to come clean with you guys about something. Does it look better if I put this way down in the background? Like, kind of like that? Huh. Anyways, I have to come clean with you guys about something. Um, I made a mistake. First of all, the Sony, I accidentally shot at 24 millimeters. I forgot to extend it to 28, so I had to crop in a little bit to give the similar field of view. Um, for YouTube compression, not a big deal. The Ricoh GR was the big one though. So those photos, because there was such high dynamic range, it was so bright in the background and that rock had so much shadow in the front of it, shooting a RAW was pretty important. I accidentally shot the Ricoh in JPEG because part of this JPEG, this JPEG, this Ricoh challenge, um, I've been shooting JPEG only for most of the, of the shots I've been taking and I forgot to put it into RAW. And so when I got home, I was so disappointed that the photo was actually in JPEG. But oddly enough, I recovered those shadows really well in Lightroom, in JPEG. Um, and I think the thing that's interesting is that for something like that, what I was doing, um, unless you're blowing it up to massive levels, they all looked fine. Colors were a little different, but I mean, that's not something you couldn't try to color match in Lightroom or whatever. You want the blues to be more teal and be more dark towards purple. You, you know, you want the, the greens to be more yellowish or, or whatever. You can easily fix that. I was kind of surprised. Um, and I've got an interesting update for you guys coming up about this GR challenge I've been doing. It's really fired up some gas in a weird way for you guys, for, for me. Um, and I'll talk to you guys about that. But anyways, I just wanted to do this. I was out, I was uh, in the canoe. I had the Sony, I had the GR, and I had my S5. And I wanted to say, hey, what is the actual difference if I try to shoot these as similar? I kind of screwed up on it, but I wanted to share the results with you guys anyways. Thanks for watching. See you guys. I'm going up camping again this weekend. Uh, I'll talk to you then. Bye.